Memories give us a sense of who we are and influence our behaviour. And nostalgia is a classic example of how memory and mood can be intertwined. Holidays are times when we create some of our most treasured memories. And this has inspired Yudika to prepare a special menu for today. Some of my best holiday memories are from my childhood in Durban. There was a house full of kids and I often wonder how my mum coped. There were delicious curries and home bakes too. I'm taking you back in time with some of my mum's recipes today with a simple chicken curry, delicious lamington cake and snowballs. Now I'm starting out with the chicken curry and for that, sunflower oil going into a heated pan. And then a cinnamon stick, two little sticks, bay leaf, and two cardamom pods. I'll fry that until they're fragrant. I've blitzed the onion into a smooth paste and mix that through the hot oil. Now add salt. About a teaspoon and a half going in. Onion paste is brown beautifully. Now in goes the ginger and garlic. And now three tablespoons of red chili powder. Mix that in. And then the chicken. Stir the spices into the chicken. I love making this recipe with chicken on the bone. And just keep mixing until the chicken pieces are sealed. Scrape the bottom of the pot to release the spices that are stuck. And try not to add water too early when you make this curry because that will ruin the flavor. This is now sealed, ready for the spices. A teaspoon of coriander teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of garam masala and a pinch of turmeric and curry leaves and stir the spices into the chicken. Add some chopped tomato and the tomato adds moisture to loosen the spices stuck to the pan. The tomatoes have softened and now lower the heat and pop on the lid. Let that simmer for about 45 minutes. I'm going to start out with the snowballs. For the snowballs, I've got some soft batter in a mixing bowl and cream the batter until it's light. Now gradually add the sugar. Butter is now light and fluffy. I've beaten two eggs and I'm gradually going to add this to the cream butter and sugar. Just remember to add a little flour as well to stop the mixture from curdling. The butter is now light and fluffy. That's ready. Now, vanilla paste going in. You can also use vanilla essence for this. Now, self-raising flour. There's always a cloud of dust when that goes in. And gently work the ingredients together. My mom used to make these during the school holidays and they were perfect for an army of kids. And this forms a soft dough. And then take little pieces off the dough and work that into smooth balls and place this on a greased baking tray. The heat from your palms should soften the batter. If you are just starting out with baking, weigh the balls of dough so you get even sized snowballs and bake these at 170 degrees Celsius, depending on the time, I say for a large snowball, about 14 to 16 minutes. Snowballs have been baked off, they're light golden brown and I've let them cool down. Now, let's get started with the coconut syrup. 
pour that coconut milk going into a pot and then sugar. Turn up the heat, stir those ingredients together, stir until the sugar dissolves. While that's simmering, let's start with the snowball glue. And for that I've got some icing sugar and add little bits of water. Just a touch at a time to get the consistency right and work that into a paste. It really does look like glue. The glue is ready. It should be thick and smooth. I use a little on the base of the snowball. Spread that over. Sandwich them together. Leave them for a few minutes to set. If your glue is too runny, use a toothpick to hold the snowball in place until the icing sets. Let's check on the syrup. Use a good quality coconut milk for this recipe. It's for the best flavor and the syrup thickens beautifully too. Now to flavor this, a little more vanilla paste going in. You can make a syrup with sugar and water for this as well. I prefer this one. That's come up to the boil nicely. Place the snowballs into the syrup. And use some tongs to move them around. Place that into the coconut and use a spoon to cover the snowball in coconut. You can tint the coconut. My mom preferred not to because we made quite a mess with this when we were kids. Sometimes your fingers just work best. That's now done, let's get started with the lamington cake. I've creamed 350 grams of butter with 320 grams of sugar. I've beaten six eggs and gradually add the beaten egg to the creamed butter. Add a little flour to prevent the mixture from curdling. That's ready. I love watching my mum bake when we were kids. Sounds like a bit of magic. Cake flour going in. Three teaspoons of baking powder. Salt. And using a spatula, work that into a soft batter. Now, vanilla paste or essence. and then four tablespoons of full cream milk. The batter's now ready. Let's divide this into the cake tins. I've got three 20 centimeter greased and lined cake tins and scoop the batter into them. Use the spatula to work the batter until it's smooth. These go into the oven for 20 to 22 minutes. For the lamington syrup, you need some milk. Going into a pan. Cocoa powder. Icing sugar. And butter. Bring the ingredients up to the boil and use a whisk to break down the lumps. The ingredients come together to form a velvety chocolate sauce. The syrup is ready. Turn off the heat. And pour a bit of the syrup onto a tray. The cakes have cooled down. And roll the cake in the syrup. And then in the coconut. Perfect. I'm going to sandwich the lamington cakes with cream. Just whisk it lightly. Not too much, you don't want to turn this into butter. I need a little more syrup. And spoon some of the syrup 
onto the cake. Now the whipped cream. And use a little spatula to spread the cream around. Onto the next cake. That's enough chocolate into the coconut. Next layer going on top. A little more syrup. A little more cream going on top. Now for the last layer and roll in the chocolate sauce. And now for the coconut. Final layer going on top. To finish the last layer, coconut going on the top, just to form a fine layer. There's lots of little processes when you're making this cake, but kids love an adventure, so they'd be happy to be a part of it. The cream doesn't need to go all the way to the edge. And one of my childhood favorites going on top, flake. And now, just a little syrup drizzled over the cake as a garnish. That's the lamington cake done. It looks decadent and delicious. These are the recipes that remind me most about my holidays in Durban. A home-style chicken curry, snowballs and lamington cake. Enjoy. Enjoy.